Hello everyone, welcome this Thursday evening. It's going a little bit later. Vakisha Riddick, blogger and online talk radio show host. Thank you so much for the replay viewers. And if you're viewing from the web, please. Hey, Dennis. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, Moonstar. Thank you. Hey, DKR, DKE. Thank you for joining. I was going to say for those joining in on the web, I can't to connect with you, but I'd love for you to favorite and retweet the broadcast notification that brought you here, um, either through mine or somebody else who shared it. Thank you so much for the hearts. Hey, the obsession, these little late nighters. Yeah, I'm scoping a little bit later this evening. And if you are enjoying the content, obviously I'd love the hearts, but also share, share, share with your followers. Swipe right. iOS devices, swipe up for Android devices. Again, I'm Lakeisha Riddick, blogger, online talk radio show host of Share My World Show. And I blog and scope about my faith and using my faith and my work to help me release the weights. I'm on day 170 of this journey. I've lost around 31.2 pounds so far and, and believe in God to help me release more. So, hey, MC Michael, Rachel, how you doing? And if you want to leave your name in the comments, I'd appreciate it so I can address you by your name if it's a little different than your handle. Hey, Katrina, welcome. So tonight's scope is a little, Moontina, thank you so much. Okay, I remember. Hey, so tonight I wanted to talk about Houston, we have a problem. It's Rachel. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, you follow me long enough, you'll see that, you know, I just try to give it to you the way that God has given it to me. Hey, Loretta, thank you for joining. And today, God was just like, you know, you have a problem. And I had to admit, I do have this problem, and it's with procrastination. Anybody else has that, has that problem? They say that the first step to guilty, right? The first step to making change or affecting change is acknowledging the truth. And that was for me today, again. But here's the interesting thing. Thank you so much for um, joining me this evening. I appreciate it. Uh, I know it's late, but I won't keep you long. So for me, procrastination, yes, yes. It's, it's, it's not a good thing. And I'll tell you this. God is faithful because he wants us to be free, right? To op actually operate in the freedom that his son suffered and died for us for, right? It's a bad habit. But we're not free because we don't want to give up every area. We don't want to give up the, the bad thoughts or I won't say bad thoughts, but the old mindset on different things. Thank you for the hearts. But he's going to get everything that he's put in us. He's going to get it out of us because it's not just for us. It's for other people. So I'm hoping that you're blessed by what I'm sharing tonight. I'm not going to give you answers. I'm not going to give you some tips about what I'm doing or what I'm going to do because I don't know. <laughs> exactly what I'm going to do. Um, I'd like for you to check out my blog, sharemyworldshow.com. I actually blogged about it today. And here's the interesting thing. Five years ago, I was going through the same thing. For my online talk radio show, Share My World Show on Blog Talk Radio, I did a episode on where did the time go overcoming procrastination. Can you believe that? And here I am five years later, recognizing the same symptoms and being like, well, I'm dealing with the same thing. But here's the thing. I was able to listen to my own words, my own self doing that broadcast and say, God, you must love me so much because you don't want me to keep moving forward, holding on to this baggage, holding on to this bad habit, because you know where you're taking me. I can't take that same habit, those same habits. I can't take that same mindset. So he's like, I got to get it. I got to get you disciplined. I got to get you working in the with the right mindset. And don't you love God for that? I mean, sometimes you're like, man, I don't want to, I don't want to do it. But he, what he says, he has a plan for what, for our hope and for our future. He already knows, <coughs> excuse me, down the road, what we're doing, how we're going to do it, how everything needs to, to match up. And that's why he's trying to get us to obey now. So for me today, I just kind of looked around and saw, and I, you know, you'll see the, the blog. I've watched the motivational video. That's my morning routine. And Eric Thomas, he is a motivational speaker. He talked about what are you doing for your 24 hours? He said, so many people focus on the year, you know, the month, the week. He said, what are you doing with your 24 hours? It's right in front of you. 
nail that, and then you'll nail the week, the month, the year, right? And I looked around, I'm like, I'm not nailing the 24 hours. Stay at home mom, I have more time freedom than somebody else who will be working, right? But for me, the challenge is that I have to prioritize and be disciplined in my time for myself, not because I'm you know punching the clock for somebody else, you know? So that's the challenge for me. But then here's something deeper, and this is something I want you to look at for yourself. Deeper than the procrastination issue is what is the underlying root issue? And for me, fear, fear of failure, because so many things are happening right now. I mean, this blog, you know, my my YouTube channel, I mean, all of these things are just happening and converging and all this kind of stuff. And it's just like, hey, T, how you doing? So much stuff is going on. That last picture that I um, sent out about my transformation picture, that reach was over almost 5,000 people saw it. And I think for me, the fear started setting to be like, this is really real. The dreams that God has for you is really real. But it's like so much other stuff I have to take care of, like with the blog. I'm understanding more about how to promote it and all these different things with the YouTube channel, with my Pinterest, with, I mean, all my social media. Can it's like I'm having a job. Hey, like the juice. Thanks for joining. And I know for me, when I get overwhelmed, hey, Sandy, welcome. When I get overwhelmed, that's when the distractions, I allow them to take me off course. But here's the deal. I haven't been allowing them to take me off course as much regarding my fitness. But God is like, I don't want you just free in your fitness. How you doing? He's like, I don't want you just free in your fitness. I want you free in your faith, in your family, in your fun, right? In your friends, all those different things. And you can't be that way if you're not disciplined in what I want you to be disciplined in. So I said, oh man, okay, God. Now, again, he's going to get in, get out of you what he's placed in you. And for all of us, it's freedom. But the fruit of the spirit, which is discipline, self-control, that we can do what he's called us to do. We can accomplish what he calls us to accomplish. So I'm just sharing that with you. And then here's a scripture that I got. I did get a scripture, the revelation. And the revelation was from 2 Timothy 4th chapter and the 7th verse. Anybody know that scripture? And I said it in the in my actual, um, the three factors. Yes, faith, family, friends. Yes. <clears throat> and the thing was, <coughs> excuse me, oh, I'm coughing here. Thank you so much for the hearts. And I saw it, okay, well, heard it myself saying this in my video, in my um, blog talk radio show that I did five years ago about the same subject. And God is like, well, just add that to your declarations. Hey, B, how you doing? And that scripture was 2 Timothy 4, 7. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the course. I have kept the faith. So God is just like, that's it. You have fought the good fight. That means you're going to have to do the work. You're going to have to, you know, be disciplined. You're going to have to hear what I'm saying in terms of priorities. You're going to have to let those distractions go. Now, how you doing? I'm now, I, you know, I, I have to figure it out. I know, you know what? I know what my distractions are, right? So that's a good thing. All right. Okay. But to not allow them to keep me distracted, that's the process. What is the other thing? I have finished the course. He's like, you're going to finish what I tell you to do. Every day, whatever I tell you to do is going to be done. There you go. And the last, I have kept the faith. I have kept the faith meaning I believe that I will be able to do it. Hey, Katrina, thanks for joining back in. So what? 2 Timothy 4, 7. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the course. I have kept the faith. So that's all I have for you, for you. I didn't, I mean, as much as encouragement as I can for myself, that's what I'm sharing because that's what I share with you guys to encourage myself, which hope, hopefully encourages you as well. This journey, I'm day 170 on it and God is still processing me. I told you guys, right? New levels, new devils. God is not going to let you go somewhere where you're not able to prosper. Thank you so much. He's not, he's not going to do it because you know why? He doesn't set you up to fail. He doesn't set us up to fail. He knows, I mean, that's why I, I can say, have I read Eat That Frog, 21 Ways to Stop Procrastinating by Brian Tracy? No, but I'll check my um, catch out later and I'll check it out, uh, T. Thank you for sharing that. Because at the end of the day, yes, <coughs> excuse me, at the end of the day, God wants us to prosper. He wants us to be successful. He wants us to keep moving forward. And But he knows that we can't do it if we're not prepared 
internally, right? It's not just about us looking good on the outside and uh, doing these rote things. And, oh, yeah, you're doing your Hey, babe, thanks for joining. I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready to end, baby. You just came in. You're going to have to catch the replay. <laughs> but <laughs> free audio book version on YouTube. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, um, T. I will um, look at that. Check it out. I mean, hey, but see, here's, but see I'm going to say this to you as well, T. I don't know about you, but for me, I know a lot of things, okay? I, I can be, you know, very smart about things. But the application for the things, not so much sometimes when fear is driving me to not do what I'm supposed to do. So I'm going to look at it. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. But I'm also going to continue to, um, I'm going to use it as a both end because knowledge is good, right? Readers are leaders. Thank you so much. Because at the end of the day, yes, that could, you could have been, that could be what God is telling me to look at to give me some revelation. So I'm not going to discount anything, but I do. Thank you for sharing Katrina. I appreciate it. But I do know that for me, that I'm just speaking for myself, that sometimes I become so head knowledge you know, like, uh, yes, yes, yes. But hey, body, soul coaches, thank you. Lisa, I think Lisa, right? Hey, JNXX. Yes, that, you know, I don't follow through because it's all in my head. So that's that's what that's what I'm talking about here in terms of my process and how God is going to have, is helping me to keep moving forward. So keep following me, follow my blog, sharemyworldshow.com. If you didn't see my transformation pics that I um, shared on Sunday, go to my blog. You should be able to see them. Comment, share. I appreciate it. Again, you always can go to my YouTube channel, Share My World Show. Check out all of my videos that I've done for Periscope. I repurposed them there and you could um, like and comment and, you know, analysis paralysis. Man, let me tell you something, T. I wouldn't even say it's analysis paralysis for me. I would just say it's the distractions. Like, I know I don't want to do something. See, remember I did the show, I don't want to do. I know, like, I don't think I can accomplish it well or do it right away or knock it out the box. So I'll do something else. I'll get on Facebook. I will read something out. I mean, it, it is, it is bad. I know, I know it. I could acknowledge it. I'm sharing it with you right here for posterity. Lakeisha is saying what her issues are, but it's, I know that God can help me overcome because he's, he's already helping me overcome the other stuff. You do that with decluttering your den, man, man, let's not even talk about the paper. I know where everything is, okay? My organized mess. <laughs> but you, you, you see what I'm saying? It's like all of these different things that God is just like, yes, but you don't understand how it it affects every other area. Hey, Shonda, how you doing? So th that's the main thing. Again, God is, is trying to get out of me what he's placed in me, but at the same time, he knows that this area, which is not you know disciplined, right? It's called. It will cause or is causing, you know, chaos for the other areas. You see what I'm saying? He had to stop buying books, man. Yeah, I, and you, you and those library tours, I love them. Readers are leaders, man. That's me and my husband. We love to read too. Um, T. <clears throat> so just encourage me. Pray. Send your prayers toward me. You know, on this journey, follow me. Continue to see what I'm doing, how I'm doing it. But again, I, this is an encouragement for you because anybody else on the journey, not just weight loss, but just transforming every day, you, you should be getting something to you. You finish. You have so many books that you never finish. <laughs> hey, Kimmy and Miss OK underscore L. That every day is something that you're supposed to be learning for God to perfect through you. And that's what I'm saying for myself. And that's why I, I'm able to smile as I'm talking to you about this, right? I'm not, hey, Marlon, I'm not sad and condemning myself because I know that on the other side of this, that God's going to get the glory because he's working through me. So again, thank you so much for joining me. Follow me, follow me, follow me. Thank you. I'm doing well. I'm getting ready to end, Marlon. So, but thank you. You can check the replay. And if you like the content, share, share, share with your followers. I appreciate it. And, um... My YouTube channel, Share My World Show. My blog, sharemyworldshow.com. So thank you so much for sharing my world. Now go and share your world with others. Be blessed.